Which player group do you think this unit is aimed at? Hello everyone. Are you still playing Conqueror's Blade? The battlefield has been in a bit of a mess lately, so I haven't been playing much except ranked match. This time, I made a video about swine feathers. Is what I'd like to say, but actually, I decided to explore the common mistakes made by less skilled players. Due to the rapid influx of new players in some regions, the battlefield is overflowing with players who can't even execute the basic movements, leading to a complete breakdown of the battlefield. This time, I'll be showcasing how unskilled players behave in ranked matches using the replay function. I've also lightly tested some new units. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at the bad habits unskilled players tend to have and introduce some improvements. The reason for pointing these out is simple, less skilled players often can't notice these mistakes on their own, so I'm highlighting them in this video. The first mistake is moving your unit after the siege tower is already attached. You'll notice in the video that they only start moving their units after the siege tower has been attached. This is a common behavior among less skilled players. Normally, you should have your unit move in advance, timing it with the siege tower's attachment. However, this doesn't apply when the artilleries haven't been destroyed or when the enemy cavalries are attacking. The second issue is an abnormal obsession with artilleries. Since they come with a siege tower, it's normal to aim for capture points together with your allies, but bad players stay fixated on artilleries the entire time. They don't get any kills with the artilleries and fail to realize that they're creating a situation where we're outnumbered. Only then do they finally start to move. It seems they don't even bring their units with them and plan to charge alone as their hero. This is from another battlefield. There are four people here with an abnormal obsession with artilleries. Naturally, the attacking side lost in this battle. The only solution seemed to be spamming the ping button or forcing them to move by destroying the artilleries with something like a trebuchet strike. But even then, bad players often don't understand the point or pretend to move and then go back to the artilleries. In this battle as well, there are two people with the same abnormal obsession with artilleries. So, I stood on top of the artilleries and spammed the ping button. It seems that unless you go this far, bad players just won't move. There's something about artilleries that draws bad players in. They believe a wrong strategy is correct. This map makes it very difficult to defend at point A, so it's common practice to hold units at back, but this person doesn't understand that tactic. They are probably more accustomed to siege battles. Let's learn various defensive strategies. This person also seems to be copying someone else's poor play, leaving ranged units in one spot for too long. They'll be taken out quickly by trebuchet strike, so it's pointless. However, if they can dodge the trebuchet strike, that's fine. Some people place their units further back to avoid trebuchet strikes, but if you block the path, the units will be rendered useless. You can safely capture the point by ignoring incompetent ranged unit users. Many players who use only ranged units focus on meaningless kills instead of defending key points, so you should never imitate them. The fourth issue is not paying attention to the map. I don't know what bad players are looking at, but they fail to notice the enemy until their units are about to be wiped out. Make a habit of checking different areas constantly. By the way, this person is using good infantry, but because they don't understand basic battle maneuvers, they're getting defeated easily. If you look at the minimap, you'll probably notice, but honestly, I'm not expecting much since bad players won't look no matter how many times they're told. Next, in this scene. Many people can't grasp the situation by looking at the map, which is why points are easily captured. 
especially those fighting within the red-bordered area, are engaged in pointless battles. Defending an unnecessary supply point and losing a key objective makes the defense meaningless. In the bottom right of the screen, the point is captured easily with little to no resistance. The fifth issue is stopping their movement often. As you can see in this scene, many are too afraid to move forward unless someone else goes first. They never take the lead and always try to stay behind others. If all the chickens players stick together, no one will ever move forward. Is there a ghost haunting the circle? Why are they stopping there? If they're so scared of cavalry, why don't they use spearmen? I'm waiting for comments from these cowards. In this scene, the timid character is showing again, as many stop the moment they see cavalry. Can't they foresee that enemy units will keep coming out of the supply point if they just wait in that position? The solution is simple. Don't use ranged units. Use polearm units. Now, this new unit seems designed to target these kinds of weak chicken players. A ranged unit that can stop cavalry. However, most people don't use ranged units, so this will probably be labeled a unit for bad players. I checked how well it can stop cavalry. It can stop some cavalry, but not a large amount. So the answer is, use polearm units. Next, I checked if the direction in which it was placed would affect the horse stopping effect. From what I saw in the video, it seems like the attack hitbox is only in the front. I tried analyzing the movements of inexperienced players, and the conclusion, there are just too many things to point out. A tutorial from the developers might be needed to close the gap with veteran players.